Welcome back to the Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, I'm here with our 2019 Mazda Miata MX-5. I love this car. I'm always excited whenever I have the chance to jump in this car, put the top down, go for a ride. It's very therapeutic. Uh, it definitely relaxes you and it puts me in a really good mood. However, there is one thing that I'm really unhappy with this car. I'm, I'm probably being a little nitpicky, but the car is so good, that's what it's boiled down to. To me, nitpick this one element that I'm not happy with. And it's not anything new. It's actually something that from day one when I did the review of the Mazda Miata, I was really surprised by the steering wheel. And not the steering feel when you're driving the car, that's fine, I'm totally happy with that, but the actual physical attributes of the steering wheel. This is a sporty car. I would have expected a sporty steering wheel. And quite frankly, every time I get into this car, I'm reminded of our family's 1986 Caprice Classic station wagon. 30 plus year old cars that have these really thin steering wheels that even at the time of me driving those cars, I always thought they were really odd. So when I jump in this car and I grab a hold of the steering wheel, that's what I'm reminded of. And that is not what I should be reminded of. I'm gonna replace this steering wheel. So we're gonna jump inside, we'll take a look at some of the options that are out there. Uh, today, Guardian Designs is extremely popular. They make customized steering wheels for the Mazda Miata. And while they're a little pricey, if you're looking to get the exact fit, finish, leather, perforation, stitching, the colors, we'll take a look at some of the other brands uh, that are available. And then I'm gonna decide which one's right for me. Again, not everybody has the same situation but this steering wheel doesn't fit me definitely need something a little bit sportier i'm going to take a look what's out there I'm going to decide we're going to purchase it and then i'm going to install it uh, not in this video but in a future video i'll take you through a how to to install the steering wheel from what i've heard from what i've read it's fairly straightforward we'll actually find out if that's the case i know some of you are really concerned or worried about messing around with any area of the uh, airbag. And from what I can tell, uh, that should be a minimal issue. But here, let me find out and let me pass that information on to you. So if you're interested in finding out what aftermarket steering wheels are available for the 2016 plus, the ND Mazda Miata, then stay tuned. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some measurements. I'm gonna measure the diameter of the steering wheel. I'm gonna measure how thick the steering wheel is in different spots. So it's about 32 millimeters from the back side that's facing the, facing the dash to the front side that's facing you is about 32 millimeters. And then now let's take a measurement from the top uh, that's facing the roof to the bottom that's facing the floor and see if there's a difference there. It's about 27.2, 27.4, again, from the top that's facing the roof to the bottom that's facing the floor. Now let's take some measurements at the thumb positions. So at the thickest part on these thumb grip positions, it's about 33.7. And then the diameter of the steering wheel looks to be about 14 and a half inches. Before we jump in and take a look at what options are out there, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber already, turn on those notifications. If you find this video informative, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and hey, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any experience with any of these steering wheels. Now let's take a look online to see what aftermarket steering wheels are available for the ND Mazda Miata. I'd like whatever I purchase to be a little bit thicker. Uh, I'd like to have more contour for your thumbs at the 10 and two position, a little bit uh, meatier in those areas. And if possible, maybe a flat bottom. I'm not a large individual by any means, but any additional room that I have uh, for my legs in such a small car uh, would be helpful. One thing when you're looking at steering wheels, in the past, most of the aftermarket steering wheels would mean that you would, getting an aftermarket steering wheel would mean that you would lose 
the capability of having an airbag, something that I can't imagine anybody would want, and then also potentially losing all of your steering wheel uh, controls. So what's great nowadays is a lot of the aftermarket steering wheels do a plug and play replacement. It integrates directly with your controls, your steering wheel, your OEM steering wheel controls. It integrates so it's a direct bolt-on. You don't have to mess around with the airbag. You swap out the old in with the new and you're ready to go. Everything that I'm going to show you here does offer that, does offer a plug-and-play replacement. So let's jump into it. The first website I'm going to is Fly Miata. And Fly Miata does offer just one, unfortunately, steering wheel for the ND, and that's the Cypher steering wheel for $369. It has a really nice shape. Uh, it does offer that plug and play capability that we're looking for. Has some nice contours uh, for the thumb positions. As you can see here, integrates with all of the existing the existing controls and airbag, which is great. The stitching itself uh, looks very OEM, so this could be a nice solution. It does offer flat bottom, which I think is great. The stitching color is red maroon, which is pretty much the stock. I think stock is sometimes referred to as plum, uh, but I think it blended nicely. They all also offer a gray. And for the most part, this is a nice looking steering wheel, and for 369, I think that's a fairly good option. Now let's jump over to the Rev9 uh, website. By the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these uh, resellers. Uh, I wasn't paid to endorse any of this, so um, this is just my opinion. They do offer a rather large list of aftermarket steering wheels. As you can see here, that some of them do not integrate with the existing controls, steering wheel controls, or the airbag. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through some of these. Auto X. Let's jump over here for 425. This is nice. It has on the noon marker uh, a nice red accent. Stitching looks nice. It has a flat bottom. This is a pretty nice looking steering wheel. Steering wheel. The difference that really stands out for me from the Cypher is that it, it does have a noon marker uh, in red. Let's take a look at some of the specs for this. It's 370 millimeter diameter, which is uh, same as your existing OEM. Okay, that's fine. Solid leather, it's a mixture of solid and perforated leather. So it is thicker, and this is what I was looking for. It is thicker than the OEM. The horizontal thickness is approximately 36.4 millimeters versus 33.9, so a little bit thicker, which is nice. Uh, vertical thickness is approximately 28 millimeters versus stock, or at least what they have identified as stock, as 28.3. So this definitely could be a possibility, the Auto X sports steering wheel at $425. Let's go back and look at a couple more from Rev9. As you can see here, there's plenty to choose from. This is pretty good. They do have the, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, the damned uh, steering wheel. Uh, this is more expensive at $600. This looks nice. What, in comparison to the auto auto X that we just looked at, it does have the center or noon marker at the top, which is nice. It does have a flat bottom, which is pretty cool. I like the breakup of the perforated leather as well as the solid leather and the robustness of uh, the 10 and 2 position. So this one for me is definitely a possibility that I would consider. You have as an option a $125 option, which is kind of pricey to me, but you can change your stitching color. So apparently uh, for $600, you can get the red. For an additional $125, you can swap out the red stitching. For orange, for you 30th anniversary Miata owners, that may look nice. Uh, gray, blue, and black. But this is a good looking steering wheel. And like I said, one that I think I'm going to consider. However, $600 is, is on the pricey side, at least for me. Talk about costs. I'm going to jump past this one for a moment here. Here's another damn steering wheel. This is uh, all suede. So it looks like for about $25 more, you can get an all suede. So this looks comparable to the last, except that you're getting full suede. Then Dam has this uh, $1,100 steering wheel, the performance steer steering wheel, which is pretty neat. So it says here, it has, has the functions to show the vehicle speed, 
engine RPM, fuel consumption, throttle position, oil temperature, and water temperature in real time. Rate integrated within the steering wheel. Of course, that will add to the complexity of the integration, I'm sure. It is pretty neat looking. I wonder if any of you have had experience with Damned or even installed the steering wheel. That would be really nice to take a look at. If you do, if you have any experience with any of these, whether it's the Auto EX, the Cypher, um, or the Dam, leave me a, you know, comment below. Let everybody else know whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. You know, some of these look great, obviously, online and then you get them and sometimes the quality is lacking or the install is much more difficult than you had imagined. This is quite nice. Personally, not one that I would probably consider just because of the cost. I can do a lot more with that $1,100. I'm not going through all these, I'm going through some of the, the big, bigger ones that stand out. So we looked at Dan, we looked at Cypher, and looked at Auto EX. It's Ken style, carbon fiber, Ken style, uh, it looks like the regular steering wheel, a suede steering wheel, all three of these. So it looks like it starts at the, the regular. Like a lot of these, it does offer the flat bottom. The Ken style steering wheel does offer perforated leather. It is 300, 373 millimeters by 376. So that's roughly stock except for the uh, flat bottom. Has a nice, uh, the 10 and two uh, perforated thumb rest, which I really like. I like this one too. I think personally for me, this might be a good option as well because it gives me the D, it gives me a little bit more thickness up here. Although I didn't see it reference how thick it is. This to be the Ken style steering wheel, the standard at 424 or 425 I should say. There's the Ken style suede steering wheel at 450, so $50 more. Looks like it gives you the full suede. And personally for me, I think the perforated leather, solid leather is, is more than adequate for me. I don't think I really need the, the suede. I'm always concerned with suede that I'm, over time I'm gonna wear that and it'll give a different uh, wear look in certain areas. But this is made of perforated Alcantara Ultra Suede. So it's Alcantara as well. Looks like the uh, diameter is the same. Again, like the last one, it's not indicating how thick. Oh, there it is. So it is thicker than OEM. The horizontal thickness is approximately 34.7 millimeters versus 33.9. Vertical thickness is approximately 30 millimeters versus 28.3. So not a huge difference. Ending off the Ken style uh, steering wheels for another $50. So moving from 425 to 450 or jumping up to the carbon fiber steering wheel for those of you who like your carbon fiber. Uh, it has the accent at the top, but it looks like this is uh, pretty much the same as the others except for the, with the carbon fiber accent. I like here that it does indicate 30 minute install. We'll see actually how quickly it is to, it takes to install, especially for a novice. I've never installed a steering wheel. So as we go through this, if you're interested, uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. And when I actually get the steering wheel uh, and do the install, I will do a video to show all of you exactly how easy or hard it is to install the steering wheel so you can do it yourself or decide not to do it yourself. Here's another brand. It looks like the Real Gun. Carbon fiber, real gun leather, and real gun piano black. So ranges between the 425, 500, 575. Um, it's very similar to the ones before it. The only thing that I noticed with this one I'm not as fond of is that it doesn't have as much contouring where the thumbs go at the 10 and 2. So let's just take a look at the pictures and then some of the write up. So it's a slightly smaller profile at 364 millimeters versus 367. Overall thicker, horizontal thickness is 33 millimeters versus 33.9. Vertical thickness, approximately 30 millimeters versus 28.3. I don't know how that's thicker. That's a higher number, but that's interesting. Uh, let's take a look at one of the other real gun. Real gun grip. Um, let's take a look at the base one. This is the base real gun leather steering wheel at 425. And it does indicate a slightly smaller profile. So it's four millimeters, not that significant. Will you notice it? I, I don't know, probably not. Uh, but if you are looking for a smaller in diameter steering wheel, it looks like this is an option for you. It does look like they offer custom stitching. 
for $125. However, at the bottom, it does note that it takes two to two and a half months for it to be made. So if you're impatient, probably not the steering wheel for you. So that's it for the Rev9. I like the fact that they offer a variety of steering wheels, the Auto EX, the Damned, and the Real Gun, as well as the Ken style. I think for me, going back, I'm going to take a look, closer look at some of these, but what stands out for me is the Damned and the Ken style. Um, both of them have options that meet my criteria. If you are looking for full customization of a steering wheel and you're willing to pay for it, and you are willing to wait for it, then I've heard a lot of good things about Guardian Designs. And again, I'm not affiliated with Guardian Designs. They have not paid for this endorsement. They're not giving me anything for it. I'm just giving this information to all of you. If you are interested in, customize, in getting a custom steering wheel, you might want to consider Guardian Designs. OEM plus design, so like all of the ones that I've gone through, these are direct replacements. They integrate with your existing controls as well as your OEM airbag. They do offer a variety of different options. The Classico at 500, which is round. The Corsa, Corsa D and Corsa Zero, ranges between 650 and 750 and the D stands for the flat bottom. And then they have newly re released a Corsa 330 for $800, which is kind of pricey, but that 330 is a smaller steering wheel. So if you're looking to reduce the diameter, that's a pretty good option. What's really nice about Guardian Designs though is they give you a lot of flexibility in what you can customize, putting the noon marker uh, or center marker, changing that color, changing the colors of the leather. The Corsa line is a smaller wheel diameter than the factory wheel. So it is 10 millimeters smaller, while the Corsa 330 is nearly 35 millimeters smaller than factory. So that you will notice. You have different combinations of Napa leather, smooth and perforated. You can add Alcantara, uh, either in jet black or charcoal. You have different accent colors in Ferrari Rosso, Bentley Red, F0 Lexus Blue, and Light Gray, as well as plenty of others uh, you can choose from. And I've heard, even if it's not on the website, that you can work with them and, and find the right color for you. Here is the Corsa 330. You can see on the left here is a stock steering wheel. And man, that looks horrible <laughs> in comparison to the Corsa 330. I mean, that looks really sharp. That is significantly smaller. Uh, I do believe that it is the outer diameter of the Corsa 330 is the inner diameter of the stock OEM steering wheel. So a significant change. Shows here the thickness, the wideness OEM is 32.4. It does have for the Corsa 38. So yay, get it, getting a thicker steering wheel. I like that. These are made from leather, sourced from Italy and Germany. They're handcrafted in Europe. I believe it's Poland, but I could have that, that wrong. Has the D or the flat bottom. That's great. The Zero, actually, so they, the Corsa, Corsa Zero and the Corsa D, the Zero has a flat top as well if you're interested in that one. So if I were considering uh, one of these, I probably wouldn't go with the 330 because it does not offer the flat bottom. And I'm also looking a little bit more for the contour. I probably would end up going with the Corsa D because I'm not also not partial to the flat top. So let's do a quick spec on the Corsa D. And apparently you do put down a deposit of 450 and it usually takes two to three weeks uh, before it ships and it is coming from Europe. So if you're in Europe, great. If you're in the United States, it may take a little bit of time in transport, especially nowadays. Uh, but a deposit of 450, let's go to mock up our purchase. Let's go with the Corsa D for 720. Type of leather, they offer smooth leather and perforated sides or perforated all around or Alcantara, full Alcantara. 
Now I like the smooth. If you were to do a leather accent color, which is interesting because I didn't see that in any of the other aftermarket steering wheels that meet my criteria here on Guardian Designs, you can do an accent color for 50 bucks. So that's pretty neat. I'm not gonna do that, but that is definitely an option. Stitching color, wow, they offer a plethora of options here from white, black, green, purple, graphite, silver, dip, many different blues, several reds, and different orange, and I'm not sure what fluorescent argane, I'm only kidding, it's orange, fluorescent orange. So you got different stitching colors, you got different stitching patterns, the two-tone triple stitch being at a $25 option. We have a noon marker you could add at different colors. And then you can also get the e-brake uh, as well as the shifter boot in leather for 120 for the set or Alcantara for 140. So nice as well that they offered as part of the set here. So for me, if I were to do this, I probably would end up spending probably the 720, maybe the accent color for 770 and then you probably had shipping on top of that. Here are the uh, picture of the stitching colors. They offer plenty of pictures online. Here's that accent leather you can add. Here's the e-brake boot and the shifter boot that you can get for the $120 to $140 as an option. If you're willing to spend seven to $800 and you want a fully customized steering wheel, you might want to give Guardian Designs a look. To me, $700 for steering wheels is a little bit more than what I want to pay. So I don't know that that's a good fit for me, but it does look like it might be a good option. I think one of the others on the Rev9, whether it is the Auto EX, the Damned, uh, the Ken style, you know, maybe one of those three, probably a little bit better for me. They meet my criteria as well as being uh, significantly cheaper by a couple hundred dollars but I will let you know which one I purchase and then I will install it and I will do a video. So, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and until next time.